Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't. Phone on phone a mess. This is some disturbing shit. Now, I understand how it go. You know, your drug of choice is your drug of choice, and we can't condemn anybody else, honestly, for doing this shit, but, because I've been popping pills. Well, I don't pop pills no more, but I was popping ecstasy. That was my drug of choice. You feel me? Drinking here and there, smoking some weed. So, that was my drug of choice, ecstasy. And nowadays, you know, people like to do perks and shit like that. But it seems like these two young men, uh, well, actually three. I only seen two of them do it, for, but I think they all do it. Uh, Q50 on the left, uh, Bloodhound, Lil Jeff in the middle, and Lil Vert on the right. And I guess their drug of choice is cocaine and cocaine accessories. And so um, it took me back a little bit because I honestly never seen somebody somebody so open with this shit. You know, people kind of keep their coke habits in the cut and they actually just out and about with that shit. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, I don't think a lot of people realize how easy it is to get coke in the hood. You know, we look at that as like a white people drug, a rich person drug. But I got a cousin, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the same cousin, if y'all been following me for a while, the same cousin who pulled my dreads out um, years ago before that ever happened, he was snorting coke. Shorty was snorting coke and he was getting it from parties and shit like that, man. And I ain't gonna lie to you, folk. That's just what he liked to do. And it really kind of shocked me that in the black community, that's the drug that people actually do. But I feel like with some people, like when you tapped into the streets, maybe, just maybe, and it's just an, a, a guess, maybe these niggas trying to tap into their inner Tony Montana, because you heard him say that's that Tony Montana, so maybe he feel like if he coked up riding around with guns, like he untouchable and invincible, and probably give him that type of sense of power that he get, and that's the only thing I could think of, like, who the fuck introduced you to this shit, young nigga, how the fuck, is JB Bin Laden snorting coke too? What the hell, folk? How many niggas in the hood is snorting coke? I kind of want to know this shit now, phone them, phone them ads, what the fuck? And I ain't condemning Shorty for it. Like I said, that's his drug of choice. It's just, damn. Y'all remember like them statuses that be on Facebook? They be like, man, I want, I can't wait for these years to hurry up. I want to see who going to be the next crackheads. And it's kind of like, if you're willing to snort coke, are you willing to snort heroin too? Hmm. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think below. I'm gone.